Hey, it's Tree, and today I am touring Sketchbook 28. That's what's labeled in my files. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I've mentioned before lately that I threw away a couple of sketchbooks just because I didn't want them around anymore and they were already uploaded to my YouTube, so I didn't see a point of keeping them. So it's not like they're gone, gone forever. But I mentioned that back because I don't know what number this sketchbook actually is anymore. Uh, because I can't actually like count the physical sketchbooks anymore. It's basically just looking at my files and then looking at YouTube to see what is there. Um, I know this is the last file of sketchbooks that I have and I already recorded touring like my most recent one so this is the final one for now. I basically started this sketchbook in 2018 took a break from it and then came back to it in 2019 I think and it was like in the middle of 2019 so I didn't end up finishing it until 2020. Last time I was explaining that I went to college and then flunked out a semester and then took a year off and then came back to it so this sketchbook was when I was first starting to go back to college again. And basically at that point I started viewing college a little bit differently and I really wanted to go for teaching because in my area there's not many um, professions just to be honest like I'm pretty sure I could list all of the professions in my area just off the top of my head so I felt like teaching was just my only option Plus, like, I still wanted to do something related to art because I'm just not into the other professions in my area, if that makes any sense. But anyway, my outlook very much was like, if I still want to do art, this is the only thing that I can do. But, like, at the end of the day, that's not really true, I feel like. And then, like, I was taking all kinds of, like, required classes for both like teaching and art and eventually like I ended up starting to take ones that were like specific to teaching and I finally got into like a teaching class and I was like oh maybe I shouldn't be a teacher um this doesn't sound like something that I would want to do and on top of that like I was hearing all kinds of stuff like teachers were dealing with like actually in their professions and junk um and i was like well that sucks i don't want to do that i don't want to be taken advantage of like that and i know like most jobs are kind of like they, you get taken advantage of i'm just saying but like it didn't feel right to me so i ended up like dropping the teaching profession very recently um but like, I don't know, I kind of miss it at the same time. Like just being in that headspace of going to art school every day, like I miss that. And being like surrounded by people that seem to art as much as I am. And like, it's either me having to do something else now or like taking a customer service job now and it really sucks. But I feel like at this time frame, I was just very optimistic and happy about being back in school, is what I'm trying to get at. Well, also just kind of like talking about my general experience of college um, and what I want to do with my life. <laughs> I feel like that's the hardest part of being an adult is like figuring out what you want to do with your life. And so many people, like, seem like they know what they're gonna do, but actually they don't. Like, I used to really think, like, people in my, like, childhood, like, adults, like, I really felt like they knew what they were doing. But the more I find out about, like, my mom and, like, her as a person, it's like, oh, she doesn't really know what she's doing either. That sucks. There's like several things in 2020 that happened that really sucked. I'm just saying, like, first I was like, oh, I don't want to be a teacher, so I'm giving up on my dream in a way. And then it was like, oh, my cat passed away, oh. And then, like, my great aunt passed away. It sucked. And I know so far I'm not being very optimistic, but, like, I feel like I'm getting 
to where I'm understanding things a little bit more, I guess you could say. Because right now, my only plans are, like, trying to do social media as a job, if that makes sense. But also, like, I might eventually get a day job, uh, just so that way I could support myself a little bit better. Because it really sucks as an adult, like, having to rely on other people for things. Um, and I'm definitely planning on, like, maybe getting an actual, like, driver's license. Because I can't drive myself either right now. So all this is just to say that I'm cautiously optimistic about the future. And I have plans in mind, like always, but I don't know if they'll work out. Because that's just how life is. <laughs> Again, um, I'm sorry this video isn't very optimistic, but I'm looking forward to things, and I guess that's all that really matters. Also, my cat keeps getting in the way, and I'm sorry about that, but she's very cute, um, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble, and I will see you in the future. I uh, don't really know for what because I'm not in the mood to record YouTube videos. Uh, I just wanted to get these sketchbook tours out of the way. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Bye.